Hey, 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 how are you? Glad you're here. Glad you're hanging out with me for a minute. So today, let's check out Ephesians chapter 5 and verse number 2. Paul again writing, and he says, And walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. When Paul writes to the church to walk in love, he first reminds the church to remember that they are God's beloved children. Follow God as dear children, and as you walk, walk in love. And remember the sacrifice he made for you, and be happy, and be thankful that the price was paid for you. To walk in love is in opposition to walking covetously. Walk appreciatively. You are a child of God, and you are promised to inherit all things. And we have to remind ourselves of that from time to time. I might not have everything I want right now, but I'm just walking in love, and I'm promised to inherit all things. It's my Father's good pleasure to give to me the kingdom. I'm just enjoying my salvation. I'm just enjoying knowing that I know Him. And I'm just happily walking along knowing that He loves me. And he's the source of my supply. And he shall supply all of my need according to his riches. And that's what you have to remind yourself of. As soon as you forget to walk in love, you'll find yourself walking in lust and covetousness. And covetousness is, as Paul says, idolatry. It's desiring things more than you desire God. Wanting to have things more than you want to have fellowship with God. And the love of possessions can outweigh your love for God. But this world is not my home, and all those things are temporary. But my relationship with God is meant to be for all of eternity. So walk in love, because you are just passing through. I'm just passing through.